September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin. You may call your first witness. The prosecution... Oh, uh, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Look at those ruffles. Those ruffles. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir. My name's Detective Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me... Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found near the window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to be struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the finger found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. The court ex oh. The court accepts this statue as evidence. They're still calling in a statue. Four plans added to the court record. Now, detective. Yeah, yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, yes, sir. I I had a hard I had hard evidence she did it, sir. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Time for the testimony. As soon as the phone call came, I rushed to the scene. There are two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss, Miss Maya Fay. Why, we had witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examining what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh! Shnick! Hey, Mike just threw something at me. What's this? Well, my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness testimony. She would bluff it. Impress the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up when you say something when you, and says something wrong. It works lots of times. Hey, I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor, I like to begin my cross examination. I like to begin my cross examination. Uh, do, 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 do. That's not it. Uh, why is that? What's, what, what's your reason? Oh. What? Hold on just one second. I yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Uh, did, did I say that, me? I heard you say it. I did so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Exactly, what about the suspicious woman in pink claim claim was hard evidence? What what? Miss Maya. Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink pal. Eh, uh, well I I guess she is pink. That's enough. Uh, that's enough, detective. Come through. Do you have any more solid proof other than the her claims, detective? Um Um, I guess pressing can have its advantages. Eh. Uh, Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. 
There was something I should have told you about first, your honor. Very well. Detective, let's hear your testimony again. Look at that beard. That's an amazing beard. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I, ex I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written. Written clearly in blood. Lab tested results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's fingers. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your, your Honor. Why didn't you justify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? I, uh, uh, I know, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. And my hands are all sweaty. So, you want to go to... Uh, right there, and then you want to present to him this. The autopsy. Detective Gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim Mai, Mia Fey wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant Mia Fey. That's really what you're saying. Oh, what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course you wrote it. Who else would you have? Mm -mm. You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from the your department, Detective. Immediate, uh, immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But... No button your way out of this one, Detective. Did you see what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Order. Order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately couldn't have time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? I like how it stutters sometimes. The day after the murder. Is the day after the murder. The, prose uh, the prose uh. prosecution point begins. The autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. The death was almost immediate, but due to a blow from a blunt object. But there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it is quite easy to imagine the victim did. It is quite easy to... Imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known. I should have known you have something up your sleeve. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. You're a sham, Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard... There's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. The reason you, yeah, the reason could, yeah, what reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report, Mr. Wright? The defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. No matter, Your Honor, Mr. Wright. Say what you will. The evidence in this report is undeniable, Your Honor. I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts this evidence. Autopsy report updated in the court record. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. Was identifying the killer. I suppose that obvious conclusion, yes. Damn you, eh? Darn. This isn't good. The prosecution will like to call its next witness. 
This poor innocent girl saw the mother with her own eyes. Let the witness, yeah. let the witness, Miss Abel take the stop. Exactly what part of her is innocent? <laughs> exactly what part of her is innocent? Yeah. Witness your name, please. April May, at your service, Wink. Order, order, and this instruction should not require reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from what, from what on the Wink. Ah, uh, yes, Your Honor. This is not good. <laughs> She's already captured the hearts of every man in the court. Tell us where. Where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room, did he? I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. offices. Um, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court what you saw. Here we go. Witness account. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the Massey girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman that dodged from one side didn't ran away. But the girl she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with her long hair, she kind of slumped. Mm -hmm. That's all I saw. Every little bitsy witsy wink. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. It's a remarkable solid testimony. I don't see need to trouble the witness any. W wait, wait, Your Honor. Wait, hold up. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross examination? I thought the witness testimony just now was quite firm, didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly ways of finding faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? It's time to go Metal Gear! Well, Mr. Wright, would you, would you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm doing it. I gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have the feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have something, she has to have some weakness. Very well. May the cross-examination begin. Blah, blah, blah. Cross-examination. So, you want to go to the part where she mentions the mousy girl. Because there's no way. Because, as Phoenix will explain it, you'll see. How do you know she was the defendant? Um, well, you know. She had a girlish physique. Women, you know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. Yep, he's right. I question that testimony. Hold on a minute. The testimony stinks. That testimony stinks. Uh, what? Uh, what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that... You're lying. You are telling you are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this. I mean Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Miss Maya Maya Fay. Maya, whatever. You could have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm not an expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. Still, I don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her, and so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Liar! Are you trying to say you? Are you trying to say you mean liar? I saw. I saw what I saw. I. I just didn't think all that trifling little details were necessary, darling. 
Miss May, the court would like to remind you that, that, that please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Elena. I'll be a good girl. I promise, Wink. Testimony, your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had her. Damn.